Welcome to your first course on Go Rendezvous. In this quick video, we will get you started in no time by showing you how to create your services and your work schedule. Let's start by creating your services. Go to Account Settings, click on the tab Employees and Services, make sure to choose the right employee in the drop down menu, and click on Services. Then, click on the blue button Add Appointment Service. For this example, I'll create services for a physiotherapist, but you'll see that with the many options offered, uh, Go Rendezvous covered the needs of other professions, such as uh, chiropractor, osteopaths, massage therapist, and so on. So I just entered the name of my first service, Physiotherapy Initial Visit. I'm setting the duration of my service to 55 minutes because I'll add a pause of 5 minutes um, just because I like to have a buffer between my clients. Then you can enter a little description of your service below. Then you can enter a category if you want. It's really to um, streamline the interface when your clients book online. They will have to choose a general category first and then a specific service. But for now, I'll enter the category as physiotherapy. Then I'm picking the color that I want uh, to associate with uh, this service. So any appointments for initial visit will be displayed in this super cute purple in my agenda. Then I'm entering the price of my service. So $85 and I want to make the price visible when my clients book online and the service is taxable. Now, let's see the options below. I want a break following the appointments for this service. Yes, yes I do, I want a five minutes break. So if I've set the duration of my service to 55 minutes and I'm adding a five minute break, it makes a total of 60 minutes required for this service. When your clients will choose this service, they'll see the available times at every hour such as 9 a.m., 10, 11, until your lunchtime. Now I go straight down to another option that is often used. I want to control which client can select this service. There are different possibilities in the drop-down, but here's the difference between a new client and a returning one. A new client is simply someone who has never had an appointment with you yet on Go Rendezvous. Note that if an appointment has been booked but cancelled, the client will still be considered as a new client. Even if they now appear on your client list, the first appointment must have taken place in order to be considered as a returning client. Here I'm selecting that only clients who have never had an appointment with me can book an appointment for an initial visit. So I'm skipping a lot of options here, but you can watch the course Tackle Complex Scheduling Needs uh, to learn more about cluster booking, grouping, multi-locations, or seeing more than one client at a time. Let's get back on the top and save. So here you can add another service if you want. So click on Add Appointment Service. And I'll quickly add another service, which is the uh, Physiotherapy Follow-Up. I'm setting a duration of 25 minutes. I'll regroup it under the same category, which is physiotherapy. And I'm choosing a light orange to display the follow-up appointments in my agenda. Setting the price, adding a break again of 5 minutes. And in this case, I want only my returning clients to be able to choose this service. Don't forget to save, of course. And here are your services. Now, let's see how you can modify your work schedule. Go back to your main page by clicking on Profile on the left. As we see here, I've entered my availabilities from 9 to 5 uh, during the quick setup when I opened my account for the first time. To modify it, click on the button Schedule on top and then you'll flip into a setup mode. Let's say that on my regular schedule, I start my Monday at 8 in the morning. 
So if I click on the blue box, I can easily change the time frame. And there are other options below, such as a label that is for your personal use as a key indicator in your agenda. For example, I could enter a label to remind me that I have some admin stuff to do on Monday mornings. I could also specify a room or a location if I'm working at different offices, but we will see how to set up these options in another video. I could also reserve this block exclusively to follow up appointments. And then I click on save. In my perfect imaginary world, I don't work on Fridays, so I can easily remove my availabilities on Friday by clicking on the garbage icon. So once you're satisfied with this schedule, you can click on actions and make this as your recurrent work schedule. So this schedule will automatically be copied for the next weeks, as we can see here. Now, let's say that summer is almost there and you have a reduced work schedule during summertime. Good for you. <laughs> so um, how can you modify it? So let's jump to the week of June 22nd, for example. Then I remove my Mondays since I'm working only three days per week during summertime. And then you click on actions and you choose to copy this work schedule to other weeks. In the new window, you can say that you copy this work schedule every weeks during a period of six weeks. So until August 9, for example. You can do the same for Christmas or any holidays. Once you've completed your work schedule, click on done and you're back on your agenda. As you can see, it's easy to get started on Go Rendezvous. Thanks for watching and check out the next video. We will cover how to promote your services online. Mm -hmm.